James, what pisses you off about the expectations of fellow filmmakers? You know, we were talking about we're all the same until we get a studio job. I think people thinking that they're on a higher echelon than one another. It's like if somebody's going out to create and do, you were there before doing a lower budget movie, way lower budget. You might be there again. So don't don't look down on other people. I don't understand why people do that. If another filmmaker comes up to me and starts talking to me, I have so much respect for them because they're going out and making movies. I don't care what kind of movie they made. They went out and did it. And if you've actually made movies, you know how hard it is to see something through to completion. So don't try and act like you're better than somebody else just because you did it on a little bit higher budget. Also, I mean, and, and we're talking like a little bit higher budget because the difference between, you know, $5,000 and $400,000 is way closer than the difference between $400,000 and $35 million. You're closer to the low, low budget movie filmmakers than you are to the studio picture people. So know which wheelhouse you're in and be f friends with the people there. At the end of the day, I think it's important to get along with the people in the filmmaking community because it should be a community. It really should. I mean, I, I love to champion other people's films. I love to help out. If you look at my IMDb, I have so many special thanks credits on everybody's films because if anybody ever asks me for a favor, I help them out on their film. Now, is that because I want something in return? No, but I know maybe if I if I need a favor in the future, maybe they can help me, maybe not. But it's always important to go, if somebody needs your help, do it because you know how hard it is to be in the trenches. Another thing is it, it gets way too clicky. There's a lot of like, it's like high school for some reason. Like there's a lot of clicks in this film industry and it, it really shouldn't be. Um, it's, you, you gotta have respect for other people doing stuff. I love to watch other filmmakers' movies. And I will always give a free copy of one of my movies to other filmmakers if they ask. But at the end of the day, it's important to to allow these people to thrive and don't look down on them. I know I've had plenty of great experiences. I had filmmakers hit me up. I had a filmmaker in Germany hit me up and he had made some short films and he was like, you know, asking me questions and I looked at his short films and stuff and they were pretty awesome. And I ended up hiring him uh, to do opening title sequences for me on three movies because he does amazing opening titles. And, you know, it's, it's look for the strengths in some of these people and never be afraid to lend time to help somebody out too because if it's only a day's worth of work or an hour's worth of work that you're helping somebody out for, then you're not really losing anything, even if you're not getting paid. You're not losing anything because it's only a day. You can donate a day doing anything. You probably are spending that day watching Netflix twiddling your thumbs anyway. So really, you can donate a day or an hour to help somebody out. And you should. If somebody's asking you to donate like a month and a half of your life, then maybe reconsider. But if it's a day, and it usually is just a day, you should do it. Uh, the other thing is, you know, as I said, I've gone out of my way to help friends get cast. I helped a friend get Shannon Doherty in his movie. She worked with me before I helped him get her. I've, I've helped many friends and I always go out of the way to do that. And it's important to help each other in this community because we are not competing against one another. When I go out and ma make a movie, I'm making a movie on a script that I wrote or something that I was approached to direct. So... I'm not competing with you for a job. They're not competing with you for a job. They're just creating. There's so much content being made right now that you're not competing with one another. And, and it's important to realize that these people are not your competition, but your peers. Do you think that's realistic in LA? No, I don't think it's realistic in LA, but it's really great to wish for it because in LA, LA is the type of place, and I grew up here, I, I love LA, I, I love everything about it, but I also know that it's the type of place where somebody will say, hey, I hope you have a great day, and in your head they're going, fuck you, you motherfucker, I wish you die. Or they'll say, oh, I really loved your movie, and then they'll turn around and go, I really hated that fucking piece of shit movie. And it's important to really just be honest with people. If you really didn't like your mov their movie... Your job as a filmmaker and a friend is to not just say, hey, your movie was shit, or hey, I loved your movie. It's to say, well, I didn't make, like your movie because I really think like maybe you could have tied up some things in the third act better or whatever it is because 
they're still growing, they're still learning. Everybody is. And I, I think I think it's important to to do that. And I if somebody tells me why they don't like my movie, I love to hear it. I don't I don't get pissed off at my bad reviews when I get a bad review. I love to read my bad reviews because I'm curious about what they didn't like. I'm also a little weirded out sometimes when the bad reviews become character assassinations saying like this fucking, you know, 22 year old making movies, bullshit, blah, blah, blah. He's a horrible human being because he was just grew up on his parents' money. And one didn't grow up on my parents' money. My dad never got me a single job in the film industry just because he worked in it. He didn't get me jobs. Um, But two, I love how it's like, the most important thing about this is that I think that these people that write these reviews saying how horrible you are when you haven't actually met them, they're probably like clairvoyant in a sense. So we should find them so we can figure out like all the unsolved mysteries of the world. Because if they can know what I had for breakfast that morning and how horrible I am as a person, then they must know a lot of other stuff. So we should really find things out. I think they should be like mediums.